I'm gonna show you how I climb the tree with my one stick. Okay, I'm gonna put my stick on the tree about head height. Pull my am still around, lock it in the cleat. I'm gonna pull down, put some body weight on it to make sure it's secure. I'm using the Trango Virgo belay device that's connected to my bridge. This is my tether rope, my quick link. Begin my climb, get up to my stick. Get my tether rope around the tree into the quick link. And we're gonna tighten down the quick link, which is not that quick. Move the tether up the tree. The thing about this is you never want to have a whole lot of slack in your line, which is something that I'm always worried about. But it's always hard for me to keep all the, you know, as much slack as possible out of the line. But that's the most important thing. No slack in the line, or as little as possible when you're making these climbs. Okay, I'm gonna make my first move. I'm tethered off. This is secure. So I'm gonna take my belay device and lower myself down to where I can reach my stick. I'm gonna relieve the pressure on the stick. Undo the Amstel. Now here we go. The stick has moved up a few feet. Let's see. Reposition the stick to where it's going to bite. Sometimes I make a little loop here just to, I don't know, make myself feel better. But feels pretty tight. So I'm gonna start climbing up the stick and as I climb, I'm gonna pull my slack out of my belay device. So as I go up, I'm taking my slack out. Now I'm going to start moving my tether up. Trying to keep it as tight as possible and tight to the tree, which is sort of tricky. All right, I'll show you from my perspective up here. Here's my tether. It's my little tether clip. My belay device carabiner. This is my Amstel bridge. I'm using the latitude method. And I'm about 10 feet off the ground with two short moves. I could have extended my arms longer and been, you know, easily 12 feet off the ground with those two moves. Uh, right now my tether's about the height of my face. Some people like it uh, further up, further down. What usually happens for me throughout the season is that I, I find my positioning sort of uh, on every tree that makes me feel comfortable. And uh, I, I assume for everybody that's probably slightly different. So the cool thing about this clip, it's like 3D printed, hooked to this Amstel, and it's installed right behind my knot on my tether. And when I get down, I'll leave my bow rope actually attached to that clip. See how it's hooked in there? And when I get down, I'll pull that and the whole tether will come down the tree.
So I'm done shooting and I'm getting ready to come down. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use my belay device to rappel down the tree. So I'm gonna hold this part of the rope and the belay device. There's actually a little spot for your thumb. And this is the brake. As I release the tension on the brake, I'm gonna start coming down the tree. So normally on the way down the tree, I would have taken this off and lowered it to the ground, but thankfully I didn't go up very high and I could still reach it and take my stick off. So I was not that high off the ground. But now that I'm down, my bow rope attached to my clip that's tied right there behind the knot. So I have my bow rope it's attached to my clip up there on my tether. So I'm gonna pull that off. And now I'm gonna pull my tether. And there you go. Tether is down. So then I just take it all off and put it all in my backpack and I'm free to walk back or ride my bike back wherever I came from. And that's how I climb with my one stick.